we have just stepped on the continent of Africa for the very first time and we already have two games we're headed into the rink for puck drop friendship league taking on the United African team it's gonna be an exciting one what a walk to the rink for an ice hockey game I gotta say a little different than Canada so the ice rink is actually inside a casino over here so you kind of got to be a little bit careful with the camera equipment but you can even see a little mini rink here and we're just about to hop in to the main rink it's my first time seeing a hockey rink in Africa oh wow this is super nice Okay, so right when you walk in, you've got all the banners, South African Ice Hockey Federation, Dave Rogers Provincial Cup, Cape Town Kings, the other team out here. Let's skate hard, move the puck around, remember what we worked on this morning? And then it uh, doesn't matter if they go up or we go up, you just keep a little battling hard every single shift, right? Yeah. Keep the shift short, so we got a long game ahead of us. Let's, uh, so let's go, go at them harder to begin with, feel them out a little bit, and then uh, just keep fun going, right? Pops deep, go to work, ready? All right. Yeah. All right, let's bring it in real quick. Bring it in, bring it in. You say Lions on three? Yeah. Lions on three. One, two, three, Lions! And the Friendship League just got on the board. They're up one to nothing right now, about eight minutes left in the first period. I gotta say, this has been quite the back and forth matchup right now. Trading goals, it is now two to one for the Friendship League. And that's the first period in the books. It's a tie game, three to three. Like I said, just consistently back and forth here. I think D, D take uh, one step and then shoot it up. And we do a stretch pass, keep it, drop it. Like, Ooh, tire them out more. Yeah, because you notice they come in three, in three and, they, and that's what's actually killing us because they, yeah. they're swarming in front of the net. Yeah. We have a lot of people and wherever it goes, they, they shoot, right? So Yeah, they're pretty fast. The minute we get in the puck on, in D, just fire it up the boards. How are you feeling after the first 20 minutes? Uh, first 20 minutes, it's, I'm feeling a little bit beat, but at the same time, um, I'm hyped for the next time I'm going in. So this next period should be a good one. Yeah, nice. Yeah. But overall, comparing how we started and now, big difference. Ready? Yep, ready. Good shift, good shift. Very good, very good. Hey, good period, right? Hey, good period. Good period. Good period. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
So, hey, let's, 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 uh, let me, I'll say a couple things real quick and I'll let you guys rest yeah. so we can get ready for the turn. First, hey, remember to, to start, uh, you guys are starting to bunch up a little bit. Make, make sure that we aren't going just four or five people on the puck, right? Make sure that we're, we're having at least one or two people back and at different, different layers, right? We talked about making sure you're coming back, like third man high, the defense are staggered a little bit. Because the only chances they're getting is when all of a sudden we get out of position and they get a quick break. Something that I noticed that I feel I did talk about is we are communicating on the ice. Frustrations, egos, let's leave them at the door. When someone says, I need support, let's go and support them. Let's not start talking back on the ice. We are here as a team. We are here as one. Okay, please. If a forward needs support forward, the forwards go and support them. If the defense man needs support in the defense area, defense go and support them. Um, like Poch said, let's not bunch up, please. Thanks. Who scored the own goal? Okay, we won't make we won't point finger. Let's, let's not point finger. Let's not point finger. Let's not point finger. We are lying. We are lying. We are lying. I'm not going to mention him. <laughs> <laughs> Just for who's own thing. Because that wasn't even like a. Yeah, that, it looked that's like a like full blown just fire. Okay. <laughs> Yes, okay, where are we? Oh, it's a post, it's a, it's, it's a post, oh, let me shoot. So guys, let's go there, let's win the game. Kenya on three. One, two, three. Kenya! And it is third period time. The United African team are up by two goals. Let's see how this one plays out. I will say one of the things I'm really surprised with is how much seating is actually available in this arena. Now right quick, I'll show you a little bit of the food options here in this rink. And it's a lot because we have basically a full food court right in the center before you go to the rink. Now this might actually be the best seat in the house. They've got a little balcony bridge here where you can overlook the whole game and have a seat. Now this might actually be one of the coolest rooms in the whole rink. You can see they've got their trophy showcase highlighting all the double IHF trophies that Team South Africa have won over the years. As you can see, you've got one for third place in the Chinese Tappy Division Two Group B qualification. You've got winner of the 2022 double IHF Ice Hockey World Championship Division Three Group B right here in Cape Town, South Africa. Down by two goals, what do you gotta do to get back into this one before the period runs out of time here? We just gotta keep pucks deep, get pucks to the net, keep shooting, you know, like it's about the team, man. Come on, we man. Got full, full hustle, 100%. Stereotypical hockey answer with the get pucks deep. Oh, it worked. <laughs> what do you know? We've got ourselves a one goal game here, eight minutes into the third period. Coach, how you feeling? You think you can hold on to this lead? Well, I think they're playing well, so we got to keep keep it going. They're uh, pick, they're still going at a good pace right now, though. I'm surprised after such a long period, but uh, yeah, seven and a half more minutes, still a long ways to go. So we got to buckle down on defense and keep firing away on offense. There we go. Hopefully, pop a few more in here. Alrighty, it is getting intense. Less than one minute left. They just tied it up. But one thing I want you to do for me right quick. You see those beautiful jerseys? You can actually buy them. And if you've been supporting my channel, support me this way because it's a great cause. Head over to the Friendship League website, order yourself one of those jerseys. By purchasing that, you're directly supporting the Kenyan Ice Lines, for example, and are allowing them to practice the game. The United African team just pulled their goalie. They're now down by one. Tough one, last second heartbreak. Hate to see it.
little bit of a wild start here in Cape Town. The Kings and the Friendship Pro team started off strong, three goals in like eight minutes. But then when Cape Town scored, they jumped into the glass, shattering it. And so we've been in a little bit of a delay right now. Come get him, come get him. So while the delay is still happening, we're gonna try probably the most popular thing I've been seeing fans walk in with here. It's a little ice cream bowl from Milky Lane. That's fantastic, but a little chilly for my liking for a hockey game snack. Okay, after a two and a half hour delay, the glass panel is back. Ice is getting a fresh sheet from the Zamboni and we're ready to play hockey. Okay, so full disclosure, I was not expecting a two and a half hour delay, so I actually need to head out. But this game is happening three more times throughout the week, so we'll we'll be back. Alrighty, and we are back for game number two against the Cape Town Kings and the Friendship League Pros. Obviously last night we had the big delay, so yeah, it's tie game here now, 0-0. Zero, zero. We'll get this thing over and done. We just finished the first period. Two to nothing for Cape Town after one. <laughs> and the Friendship League Pros get on the board with the advantage of the five on three. We've got a one goal game here now. Cape Town comes out hot at the start of the third period. It is now a three to one game. Friendship League is making this thing interesting. We are back within one, eight minutes left in the third period. And Cape Town has just extended their lead with three minutes left. This one might be over.
Question for you. How's it feel? Big win, 42 save oh, performance. Feels good. Legs are feeling it, that's for sure. <laughs> Guys worked hard, but at the end, yeah, it was, at least we pulled it off, so it was good. And Cape Town wins it by a final score of five to two. A huge 40 save performance from their player of the game, the goaltender. Wow. Hey, in the meantime, say best kind.